Good day everyone! I hope that you are all safe and healthy today. I am Amaris, your guide in understanding more the world of food processing. Be ready to learn and enjoy our today's lesson. So, prepare your activity notes and your pen. This is food processing for TBL, first quarter, week one. Our today's topic is checking, selecting, washing, and sterilizing packaging materials of finished processed products. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to select and check packaging materials according to finished products, wash and sterilize packaging materials of varying sizes in accordance with manufacturer's specification. I know that you are ready and excited to learn new ideas, but let us answer first these questions. Questions and choices will be flashed on screen. For each item, choose the letter of your answer and write it on your notebook or paper. You are given 5 seconds to answer each question. And when you hear this sound, it means your time is up. Here is the first question. What is the procedure of placing processed food into containers? A. Canning B. Packaging C. Packing and D. Wrapping Time is up! The correct answer is letter B. Packaging now, let's go to question number two. What sort of packages is made of coarse, cloth of jute, flax, or hemp? A. Basket B. Burlap or gunny sack C. Mesh or net bag D. Palm leaf bag Letter B, burlap or gunny sack. Now, let's go to question number 3. Which of the following packaging equipment is lighter, indestructible, and easier to hold during storing and dispensing? A. Aluminum foil B. Glass C. Impulse sealer D. Metal Time is up. Is your answer letter D? Metal? That is correct. Now, let's go to question number 4. Which is one of the earliest packaging materials for various food products like dressing, drinks, and preserves? A. Glass container B. Films C. Laminates D. Metal containers Time is up! The correct answer is letter A. Glass container Now let's go to question number 5. Which materials for packaging has a narrow neck and usually used for liquids like ketchup and soy sauce? A. Bottles B. Foam plastic C. Pouches D. Tin plate Time is up! The correct answer 
answer is letter A, bottle. Did you get the correct answers? If yes, great job! But if not, don't worry. I'm sure you will get a higher score after our discussion. Let us now explore and discover the proper way of checking, selecting, washing, and sterilizing packaging materials of finished processed products. This video lesson is packed with notes and essential information covering everything you need to know about the proper way of checking, selecting, washing, and sterilizing packaging equipment in making processed foods. Packaging is a way of giving the food in appropriate state for the time it is stored or handing it out to the buyers. The following terms needs to fulfill to have a better package. The product should store in a clean area and provide a blockage from dirt and impurity. Its composition must be give conservation in ease in carrying it throughout delivery and trading to avoid any damages. The body, weight, and size of the package should be considered. The packaging of the food should have a shield from physical, substance harm, pests, and knowing animals. The packaging should give the right naming and guide to utilize properly and to attract sales. Packaging materials are selected based on the kinds of processed products packed in them. Burlap or gunny sack. Burlap is a coarse cloth made of jute, flax or hemp. It could be coarse or fine mesh. Mesh or net bag. It is a non-rigid container of fibrous material and characterized by an open weave. It is usually made of polypropylene filaments. It is often called by the color of the bag as red or orange bags. Palm leaf bag. It is commonly used for field collection or for shipping small volumes of commodities to nearby markets. Basket. This is flexible or rigid containers woven from bamboo or rotten strips and come in many shapes and sizes. They have straight or sloping sides so they can or cannot be nested. Sacks of woven plastic fabric. It is usually recycled. These are originally used for rice, fertilizer, or other materials. Wooden crates. These are one of the most secure ways to transport goods. Their solid build protects the commodities inside and provides an easy-to-handle format that for clips and pallet jacks can maneuver. These are durable, reusable, and an earth-friendly option for packaging and shipping supplies. Cartoon. This is a box made of cardboard, paperboard, or fiberboard that are made of paper sheets of varying numbers so that they differ in thickness with fiberboard as a thickest and cardboard the thinnest. Plastic rates. These are used for storage of various goods and for shipping from one location to another. It provides protection of ship and store goods from damage or breakage and simplify the handling of goods. Glass containers. These are among the oldest packaging materials for many foods products like preserves, condiments, beverages, and juices. Metal containers. Metal cans compared to glass containers are easier to handle during storing and dispensing because they are lighter and unbreakable. Bottles. 
They have narrow necks and are usually used for liquids like ketchup, vinegar, or small size solids. Foam hard plastic boxes. These are not flexible or elastic and can be used for retail packaging in the production of trays, for ice commodities, transport in non-refrigerated vehicles, and for field packs fishery products. Laminates. These are made of two or more films attached together by adhesives to provide better protection to food as a result of improved barrier properties. Plastic container. This is a lighter and more resistant to corrosion. Plastic containers are also less likely to break unlike glass containers. Retort pouch. These are pouches, bags, reels, sheets, or strips made out of a single layer or combined layers of paper, film, foil, or cellophane. The shelf life of this pack is almost the same as with canned products, yet it is preferable due to less heat, damage of texture, and nutrient. Paper and paperboard. Paper is primarily made into bags, wrappers, and labels. It is also an important part of laminates. Paperboard is made into cartons, multi-pack carriers, tags, composite cans, and drums. Aluminum foil. A popular use of foil is to cover thinner section of poultry and meat to prevent overcooking. Also provides recommendation on limited uses of aluminum foil in microwave ovens. Rigid plastic container. There is a wide range of plastic bottles, pots, jars, trays, and tubs made from single or co-extruded plastics that are increasingly used for processed foods when they are available in developing countries. Polyethylene bags. These are commonly used as transport containers usually with 5 to 10 kilograms capacity. Let's move on how to wash the packaging materials. Every time a piece of packaging material is used, the general rule is to clean it immediately so it's ready for the next person to use. Proper order of washing packaging materials. Wash the surfaces thoroughly with water and detergent to remove dirt. Brush and scrub the parts where dirt like grease and other sediments accumulate. Flush again with tap water until all suds are removed. Soak materials in sanitizing solution for 2 or 5 minutes, then rinse with tap water. Air dry packaging materials or wipe with clean cloth to dry. Store packaging materials in clean and dry storage areas. Let us discuss the sterilization of packaging material in food contact surfaces. Sterilization is a controlled heating process used to eliminate all living microorganisms, including thermoresistant spores in milk or other food. It can be achieved by moist heat, dry heat, filtration, irradiation, or by chemical methods. For clean and safe packaging of materials in food contact surface, it is essential to undergo sterilization, wherein it can be free from microorganisms and contamination before packing the food. Packaging material, food contact surface, and equipment may be sterilized by different processes or in combination with other things such as heat, hydrogen peroxide, and infrared light. Sterilization methods of packaging materials. We have thermal processes of sterilization. Heating has been attained in terms of preventing microorganisms. 
The quickness of response for the destruction depends on how fast the heat can shift to the cell and you need to consider the characteristics and variety of the surface. Dry heat. In this process, where the packaging material is heated inside the hot air oven for exact least temperature and specified time. Superheated steam systems. It is to sterilize metal containers. And the advantage of this system it is that it can be attained at high temperature. Saturated steam systems. It is a moist heat form. It is also used for sterilization of metal cans, metal lids, and thermostable plastic cups. Chemical methods of sterilization. Chemical substances use varieties of chemicals to sterilize packaging materials. Hydrogen peroxide systems. It is one of the most commonly disinfectants in sterilizing packaging materials. Numerous disinfectants packaging systems use this at concentration from 30 to 35 percent as a sterilization for packaging materials continued by hot air to improve a sterilizing effect. Low temperature hydrogen peroxide gas plasma sterilization. It is relatively recent technology. It is used mostly for fast sterilization of medical equipment without leaving excess toxics. Exposure to gaseous ethylene oxide. It may be the use of sterile, low cost, and disposable thermoplastic devices for industrial application possible. It has been utilized to sterilize cartons and plastic packaging materials. Parasitic acid. It is a peroxide of acetic acid and on decomposition it is converted into acetic acid in water. The low potential of hydrogen and oxidizing properties make it an excellent sporocytical agent. Ethyl alcohol. Ethyl alcohol is effective in sterilization of packaging materials at 80% concentration, but is not effective against fungal or bacterial spores, but only against vegetative cells. Sterilization by irrigation. Irrigation does neither affect the immediate surroundings nor leave any excess on the treated surface. Irrigation and sterilization is a single process. Irrigation and sterilization is a clean process, no residual chemicals. Irrigation and sterilization is a reliable process. Irrigation and sterilization is a cold process, and hence less damage to packaging material suffers. Irrigation and sterilization is an energy saving process. Irrigation and sterilization is a cost effective and economic process. To fully engage ourselves in this lesson, let us do this activity. Arrange the scrambled letters in column A to get the correct name of the packaging materials illustrated in column B and write it in your activity notes. You are given 40 seconds to answer its question. Write true if the statement is correct, but if it is false, change the underlined words to make the statement correct. Choose your answer from the given option inside the boxes and write it on your activity notes. 
You are given 40 seconds to answer its question. Let's check your answers. Number one, the correct answer is true. Number two, metal containers. Number three, plastic containers. Number four, packaging. And number five, true. We are now done explaining all the information that you need to know. Let us proceed in synthesizing our lesson. Read the statements below about the requirements for sterilization of packaging materials. Put a check if the statement is true. And put an X if it is false. And write it in your activity notes. You are given 40 seconds to answer its question. Let's check your answers. Number one. The correct answer is check. Number two. X. Number three. X. Number four. Check. And number five. Check. As we end our lesson, we need to test your skills if we have really attained our learning objectives. Let us now have our assessment. Question and choices will be flashed on screen. For each item, choose the letter of your answer and write it in your notebook or paper. Here is the first question. What sort of packages is made of coarse cloth of jute, flax, or hemp? A. Basket B. Burlap or gunny sack C. Mesh or net bag D. Palm leaf bag What is the procedure of placing processed food into containers? A. Canning B. Packaging C. Packing D. Wrapping Which of the following packaging equipment is lighter, indestructible, and easier to hold during storing and dispensing? A. Aluminum foil B. Glass C. Impulse sealer D. Metal Which is one of the earliest packaging materials for various food products like dressing, drinks, and preserves? A. Glass container B. Films C. Laminates and D. Metal container Which materials for packaging has a narrow neck and usually used for liquids like ketchup, and soy sauce A. Bottles B. Foam plastic C. Pouches D. Tin plate Let's check your answers Number 1 The correct answer is letter B Burlap or gunny sack Number 2 the correct answer is letter B, packaging. Number three, the correct answer is letter D, metal. Number four, the correct answer is letter A, glass container. Number five, the correct answer is letter A, bottles. Congratulations, everyone! 
you were able to finish the task in our lesson. If you have questions and clarifications, you may watch and review your video lesson or you may ask the assistance of your teacher. Once again, I am Mom Maricel Bandola, your cooking partner. See you next episode for another full of exciting and interesting topics in the world of food processing.